help this torch service that allows users to store and access files from various devices with an internet connection. There are many uses of Google Drive such as file storage and organization. Cloud storage allows users to safely store documents, images, videos, and other types of material. Google Drive facilitates content management by offering choices for filling files into folders. The second use is collaboration. Google Drive makes collaboration easier by enabling numerous users to collaborate on the same document at once. Users are able to make edit suggestions and offer comments, and changes are automatically saved. The third one is file sharing. It is simple for users to share files or folders with others, enabling group editing or just view only access. This is especially helpful when working on projects together or exchanging private files. Last but not least, access anywhere. Users of Google Drive can access their files from any internet connected device because the service is cloud based. Tablets, cell phones, and PCs are all included in this. The benefits of using Google Drive include first, cloud storage. Google Drive is a cloud storage service that lets users to store files safely online and access them from any internet connected device. The second one is collaboration. Teams can work together more easily and notice changes immediately when users collaborate in real time on documents, spreadsheets and presentations. Third, access anywhere. Users may access their files from any device with an internet connection, giving them ease and flexibility. Offline access is one of Google Drive's additional advantages. Google Drive's ability to be used offline serves as evidence of this. As a result, they can modify or use this Google Drive service without an online connection, especially the employees. The benefit of automatic backups come next. We can store files and documents on Google Drive without using up a lot of storage space on our devices. The reason for this is allegedly that Google Drive has its own file storage capacity. Furthermore, Google Drive ensures the security or safety of properly keep files. Thus, we don't need to be concerned about losing data or files. File organization is the final but certainly not the least. Google Drive allows users to organize their files by sorting them into folders based on their preferences. In order to locate the data or file again, users can arrange their own file in a practical and accessible location. This clearly states that Google Drive may help in simplifying the work process for users. Numerous elements of the personal, professional and educational setting have been significantly impacted by Google Drive. Among the principal consequences are Firstly, teamwork and efficiency. Google Drive has completely changed the way people collaborate by allowing people to edit and share documents, spreadsheets, and presentation in real time. Teamwork has been easier as a result, and total production has gone up. Secondly, is anywhere access. Users may operate more fluidly and adaptively across various platforms thanks to the freedom and mobility provided by the ability to access files from any device with an internet connection. The next is expense reduction. A limited amount of storage can be obtained for free on Google Drive and more storage can be bought for a reasonable price. This frequently removes the requirements for actual storage devices and lowers the cost of infrastructure for both private citizens and public institutions. And for the last but not least is simplify file management. Users can find, modify and share their documents more easily thanks to Google Drive search and organizing tools. So, to put it briefly, Google Drive has revolutionized the way people and companies interact manage and access their digital assets, resulting in more productivity and flexibility across a range of professional and personal domains.
Okay, next, uh, I will proceed with Google Meet. Uh, firstly, I want to explain the introduction about Google Meet. Google developed a tool uh, for video conferences called Google Meet. Uh, it was first released in 2017 as a component of Google Hangouts and well independent in 2020 uh, due to the global COVID-19 pandemic which capabilities like screen sharing, real-time captioning, and connection with other Google's workspace applications. It's designed for virtual meetings, uh, and it became quite popular for online learning and remote collaboration uh, that's offering a dependable and safe platform for people and companies to communicate uh, via video conferences. Okay, next, I will proceed with benefit of using Google Meet. Uh, firstly, the integration with Google Workspace. Uh, Google Meet is a video conferencing tool that is a part of uh, Google Workspace for education. It has many advantages for students, including easy to join, calls uh, that let you host meetings on the go from any location or device. In addition, depending on your Google Workspace version, you can host up to 2015 attendance. Uh, Google Meet integrates seamlessly with other products like Google Classroom, Slide, Docs, and Gmail. This integration with Google Workspace is significant advantage for students allows as it allows to them easily to access and share their assignment, class activities and other educational resources with their teachers and also classmates. Moreover, Google is more secure, easy to use and engaging. Okay, next benefit is screen sharing and presentation tools. Screen sharing and presentation tools are some of the advantages of Google Meet for students. With Google Meet, sh screen sharing is simple. Students can tap present now and select whether there are the entire screen or just a window. These features can be helpful for students who need to share their words with their classmates or teachers during online classes. Additionally, Google Meet is easy to use and can be accessed from any location and device which can save, uh, save student time. Okay. The last benefit of use Google Meet is real-time chat and messaging features. Real-time chat and messaging features are some of the advantages of Google Meet for students. Google Meet allows students to communicate and with their teachers and classmates in real time, which can be especially helpful for remote learning. Students can use the features to ask questions, share ideas, and collaborate on projects. Additionally, Google Meet offers a digital whiteboard called Google Jamboard, which can be used for collaborative brainstorming seasons. Then, the platform also offers features such as attendance report, breakout rooms, and polling, which can enhance the learning experience. Another advantage of Google Meet is that it's relatively easy to use and joining the meeting as simple as clicking or tapping the link. Google Meet might be loaded as a free and convenient video conferencing platform, but there are some bad things about it. First, technical glitches galore, which the audio crackles and cuts. The important words get lost in a symphony of robotic starters and audio dropouts. It struggles to understand basic sentences. Next, limited functionality. Google Meet serves bad privacy concerns. Data collection practices and murky security policies leave us wondering who is listening in and what's being done with our conversation. What is Google Docs? Google Docs is a free web-based 
processor included in the Google Workspace Suite. It allows you to record, edit, create and collaborate on documents in real time with others, seamlessly integrated with others Google Apps like Sheets and Drive. Here's a deep dive into all about Google Docs. So one of the Google Doc features is offline access. You can work on your document without an internet connection and it will automatically sync when you reconnect. Next, other features of Google Docs is mobile and web accessible. So you can access and edit your document from any device with web browser or the dedicated mobile app. Google Docs also serve a comprehensive editing tools. Google Docs offers a variety of formatting options, fonts, styles and layout tools to create a professional looking document. You can add images, table and charts to enrich your content. The benefits of Google Doc it is a real-time collaborative editing. No longer do we engage in the practice of exchanging costly document version via email. Students now have the ability to collaborate on projects at the same time, irrespective of their geographical locations, so promoting the development of corporations and communication abilities as they navigate share concept and deadline. This cultivates a feeling of collective ownership and accountability, sparking a more profound involvement in the educational journey. The next benefit is Google Doc provides instructors with a distinct opportunity to gain insight into students' thought process. Immediately comments and suggestions in real time provide prompt feedback, directing students towards clarify and comprehension without interrupting their work process. Furthermore, Teachers have the ability to monitor their revision history, which offer vital insight into the development of a student work and their comprehensions of the subject matter. This individualized feedback loop promotes a supportive learning environment, improving the effectiveness of each content. Lastly, Google Doc cloud-based infrastructure overcomes the limitations imposed by geographical and time limitations. Students have the ability to get their assignments from any device, regardless of locations, guaranteeing and interrupt learning and advancements even in unexpected situations. This adaptability enables students to assume responsibility for their learning according to their own schedule and preference. Furthermore, it facilitates opportunities for global corporations, fostering connections among students from different cultural backgrounds and enhancing their educational journey. The impacts of Google Doc is it can contribute to the formations of eco chambers. The collaborative nature of real-time contributions leads to be a heightened pressure to confirm and avoid expressing dissenting opinions. The pursuit of consensus often undermines critical examinations and individual thinking, resulting in a uniform and superficial comprehension rather than a varied range of viewpoint and profound involvement. Next, the convenient availability of information online via Google Doc can worsen the problem of plagiarism. The act of copying and pasting can be alluring, causing the distinction between research and appropriations to become unclear. In addition, the autocorrect and grammar checking functionalities, although beneficial, can foster a dependence on immediate solution rather than fostering the crowd of students spelling and writing abilities. The reliance on technology aids restrict the development of analytical skill and self-direct learning. Although cooperation is beneficial, depending exclusively on Google Docs can impede personal growth. Students who are accustomed to working on groups and Simon may face difficulties when it comes to working individually since they may lack the necessary confidence and skill to effectively manage their own learning. The excessive dependence on collaborative platform might hinder the development of autonomy, critical thinking and problem-solving abilities which are crucial for academic achievements and beyond.